Blood is forbidden. We rise from the darkness. Black mists. My health is restored. seal I passed must be broken. But what did that creature mean by protecting Sladion?
and rot. this profanity some form of ritual
all to save my people. Would you not have done the same? The Grand Master draws strength from the darkness. Only Yita's flame can burn it away. Even the most forbidden technique has failed her. The mists will spread and blot out the light of Zekarun! could feel the surging darkness weaken. What is this? A prayer bead? Indeed. Taken from the ancient nightmare within the monastery's depths. Examine it yourself. This... marking... This bead belonged to Sladian. I don't understand. Are you implying a Patriarch is responsible for the nightmare that plagues his own people? I imply nothing. You're holding the evidence in your own hand. Sladian fought back the Zakarum's light using a forbidden shadow. His broken soul annihilated your people, and scarred the land itself. Impossible. Yet, uh, I cannot deny what I see. This bead ebbs with a chaos I've never felt before. Look here, in the cracks. The charring. It was corrupted from within. No. No more distractions. Let us cleanse this evil. That is what we came here to do. have receded. Old hatreds do not die. I saw that- Do not let grief- You're awfully insightful for us. Sladian died for peace. It is time I learned to let my own anger go.
The nightmare hordes have begun to thin out, and my men are returning home. I'll just skip the formalities. Thank you for... This mountain's seen too much bloodshed. The nightmares are a result of atrocities committed by the Zakarim, and the misguided desperation of the Ivgaradi. Only together can you stop this from happening again. Well said. When the cult attacked us, the Acolyte stepped forward to help us... hold on and rebuild. Wouldn't be right if we weren't there for them. Shura and the others have been through a lot. They've had to learn the hard way that good people can be capable of... terrible things when pressed. Had my fill of terrible lately. But I understand. Ask any former Zakharabite, and only a fool or a knot would be proud of something like the Crusades, or the madness in the East. But we keep living, and we make amends. The Acolytes are welcome to stay here as long as they need us. You are too. But... I'm guessing you have other pursuits ahead of you. Thank you again, adventurer. We are in your debt. Send word of your accomplishments ahead of you. Tell me everything. Spare no detail. Well, forbidden magics and old hatred spawned vile evils and nearly tore the soul of two peoples apart. But for now, it seems there is finally a peace upon the mountain. A familiar tale. Still, it is good they have found some form of peace. We need all the allies we can get in times like this. I'm glad to see you had better luck than I did. Commander Kaya and the Knights were unwilling to listen. I was refused an audience outright. The King's ear is being poisoned by the nobility, and even the immortals are finding themselves upon shaky ground. Westmarch is in denial that the world is falling to ruin. Whatever happens next, the powers of this world are unprepared for it. Yet we are not without allies. I've sent word to an old friend. Hopefully he arrives soon. For all... 